Dude, I am so proud of this, man. Once I shave down the other end of this, Kiki, what do you think? Pretty good job, pretty good. Thanks, girl. Good morning, is this thing on? Hello, it is 5.28 a.m. and I have to show you what I'm working on. But first, let me just show you this jiggly wire. Just notice this, look at this. It's making this so much noise. Weird. Anyway, that's not what the show's about, although it should be. What is that? Behold my CNC enclosure, but more importantly, what's inside of it? This is a uh, full queue number two. I have a segmented handle here. I have an ebony uh, butt. I have ebony points into curly maple. Um, I still need to do the, 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 the uh, I've lost the lingo. The white thing that goes on the front. I'm very proud of it and I just wanted to give you guys an update. I need to start spinning this bad boy. Woo! And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little pass on this because do you see this, these little divisions? It's not good, you can see the division here. It needs to be a one uniform thing. I'm not gonna go all the way to like final, but I'm gonna get close just so I can see what it kind of looks like. A little, a little sneak peek. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. A little scary. At 5.30 in the morning, it's just a very brutal sound. So I was so sick of doing cleanup after every single time. I mean, there would be literally no exaggeration, like an inch, an inch of like shavings and dust. Now it's compartmentalized and it's a beautiful thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start on this puppy. Go ahead and hit start so we can start the cycle. If we should hear a cut, although it's a very timid one. Hear it? Wah, 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 wah. Perfect. All right, let's let it go. It's gonna take a second to get all the way down to the other end. Strider, you can go ahead and do your magic. Let's leave this long. Dude, I don't like this. Hold on, hold on. Emergency stop, let's just reset. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn this off. Back this up. Let me show you what, uh, what's making me not happy right now. Do you guys see this big old ridge right here? There's metal in there, and there's plastic. It's not just wood. That's a big old chunk. Man, we need to back this up. Right now, I'm just manually moving the cutter. Let me see, are we pretty much dead even with it? I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, that looks good enough. Maybe it needs to go this way a little bit more. I'm gonna turn on this cutter. I wanna do this manually, just so it doesn't crash. I've crashed it before, and it's, it's horrible. It flings the workpiece. Everything gets out of alignment. It's like an hour wasted. All right, let's get it a little bit farther. Are we lined up? Are we good? Are we good? Now we're gonna go by sound. I'm just gonna creep it ever so slightly closer. We're listening for sound here. Hear it? We just want to shave off that metal a little bit so it doesn't crash. Okay, I've lowered it down and I'm gonna start the program over. And a thought occurs, it's 5.30 in the morning. I've had a half a cup of coffee, and I realize I'm making some very big decisions. Some really, really dumb decisions when my brain is at like half, you know, power. But that's just what we do. Notice that I'm not even fixing it, I'm just going for it. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, you can see I reduced it a little bit. The problem is I just don't want it to be like huge chunk. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? That's spooky. Man, this feels way too aggressive. It feels too close but um, you know, we're here, let's do this for, for science. Uh, don't crash it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! -hoo. Okay, here's the next part. Come on, don't crash it, don't crash it. Just a little zing. Oh, okay, awesome. Let's try number two, whoops. Pass number two, we're a little bit closer this time. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Here we go. Wow, man, this, 
It's intense. Oh. Can I just show you the weather in there? Look at this chaos, this chaos, dust, and just fragments. Look over here, nothing. I'm so proud. Here's another one. Okay, we're good. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. I finally touched all of it. I touched the entire queue, which is what I was wanting, just to do a full, full pass. Man, it's just like so smooth. Let me go ahead and turn this guy off so we can see it. The points have dropped lower, but that's actually what we wanted. They're pretty even. There's one high one, no clue why, but it's okay. This is all nice and flush. Woo! Let me do a slow spin. Oh yeah, I'm proud. I'm so proud. It, it's nerve wracking. Uh, I worry about messing it up at this stage in the process, but it's okay, YOLO. Go ahead and pop this guy off. I'm proud of it. What is this? What is this? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so the next point is, do you see this white bit at the end? And there's a ring. We need to add a matching white point at the end and a ring. After that, we put in the little connecting screw and then we finish it. All right, we've got it in the second lathe now. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the tip just a little bit so it doesn't go anywhere. Ugh. Ugh. Now guys, I know that this doesn't really have anything to do with the regular content, like, I don't know, furniture that we make, or toys, or, you know, whatever, but it's kind of cool, right? All right, we've got this all lined up and tightened up in the chuck. Let's make sure that we are concentric and straight. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty solid. Looks good, brings are straight, everything is straight, we're nice and good. Yes. I have this GoPro so precariously balanced right now on this lathe. And I don't even think it's got the right thing in focus, but I think it's gonna get there. Let's see. Are you in focus, bro? Good enough, man. All right, let's go ahead and shave a tenon on this bad boy. So this is the cutter. This is a carbide cutter. And we're gonna very slowly... Actually, sorry, I missed a step. First, we need to make a mark to tell us where exactly we're gonna be cutting this tenon to. And this is a really good spot right around here. All right, now we cut. It's just so satisfying, you guys. I'm gonna kick it out just a, just a little bit. Normally you wanna cut slower than this, but this is kind of a rough pass because we don't know the final size yet. So we're just gonna go, we're just gonna get the started. See our pencil line right about there. Perfect. All right, I just take a piece of sandpaper, any old sandpaper. I mean, I have it in around because of all the furniture we make, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get this guy polished up a little bit. All right, let me slow this down. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eventually fit on here. Do you see this tenon? We are going to eventually put this size on here. Whoops. Clearly, we are nowhere near close. We're getting close, you guys. Almost there. Come on. Moment of truth, we have this black phenolic ring. Let me just do a little tester run real quick. Uh, wrong way. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like dead ringer. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. I need to face this off, make this nice and flat. This little flat section right here. We are good to go. So let me show you the ring pattern that we've done. It's black phenolic, wood, metal, wood, black phenolic. We need more skinnier versions of these little wood strips. Let me show you. So the diameter circle has changed. This is what I have been using, but look at this one. It's much smaller. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and really quickly and annoyingly, this is just like, I was not expecting to have to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some new strips. This is just like a piece of scrap uh, hard maple that I had lying around. What I'm doing is I'm boring a hole that's eventually going to match this hole right here. Dude, it's so close. Let me see. Let's do a little quick tester run here just to make sure that it can go on. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> perfect fit. All right, let's chop this guy down. Now all I need are two little ones and that's it. That's one, it's perfect. And two, phenolic ring number one. I've added some two-part epoxy. It's a five-minuter, which means I don't have long. 
All right, switch it in. We're gonna clamp it and we're gonna come back later. We have to do this five times for every single ring. There's gotta be a more efficient way to do it. So the final ring has been added. It is now sealed, settled. Now let's just go ahead and do one cleaning pass on this tin. It's just covered in goo and epoxy and super glue and shame and dirt and dust. There we go, nice and clean. Decision time. I have the butt here and it's white. I almost went black, but I ended up going white at the last second. Also the front. I mean, I've seen other cues where it's black on front, white on the back, vice versa. Um, I've been thinking about it and it does look really cool white and it does match the butt. So I might actually go white. All right, this is the last thing to epoxy before I can finally take it out of this lathe and look at it. Oh, hey Kiki, good timing girl. Get this out of here. Get this out of here without breaking it. That seems like a really solid plan. I'm so proud of this, man. Once I shave down the other end of this, Kiki, what do you think? Pretty good job, pretty good. Thanks, girl. Turning out really good. Let's take another pass to cheer everything up. Meanwhile, I just realized that there's another benefit aside from clearing up this mess. It's like, I don't have to worry about Kiki, who's constantly coming over here because of me. Yeah, good luck getting in trouble now, girl. <laughs> Well guys, it's time. Today is the day where I tried to finish this thing. So stressful, but we might as well do it. You know what, I've, I've already convinced myself I'm gonna ruin this cue. It's my first cue for science. Let's do this. We've mixed up the epoxy. We're gonna make sure it's nice and mixed. Here we go. This is crazy. This is bonkers to me. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Okay, we're reaching the end of it now. Now we're just gonna use our gloves. Mix it in nice. Nice and even. So from what I've read, you want to get it in nice and tight on this first coat because there's a lot of uh, pores to fill. Which, you know, that makes sense. The problem is I don't really know when to stop. I guess it's a feel thing. It is pretty. It's also dripping, for better or worse. I don't know what that means. So bizarre, man. I mean, I still see those rings that I initially, um, that I initially sprayed. I still see those rings, or I feel them anyway. I do see a little accumulation on the ends. I'm assuming that's probably not good. I also see some dirt. All right, it's starting to get tacky. Slightly sticky. All right, now I guess we just wait. Cool, man. I will say one thing, it made it beautiful. It's nice and shiny for better or worse. So good news, bad news. No, I retract that. Good news and medium news with this pull cue. I found out, well, first off, it looks phenomenal, all shiny. Look at that, it's gonna be amazing. You can see the little bumps, but uh, that's sandable. You just sand it off until it's nice and smooth. The medium news is, I got some dirt and hair on the white part. Eh, it's my first cue, it's fine. It's my signature, dirt and hair, that's my signature. The other bit, of medium news is, you guys have heard me say this before, but the YouTube machine is hungry. And this is gonna be like a week, two week long process. Cause as soon as I'm done with this third coat, this is third coat by the way, it gets hung boop, and I let it harden for like a week. And then I sand it and then I do some other coatings on it. It's unbelievable. So I'm gonna cap it here. Just know that this is my progress so far in pew Q land, whole Q land. And um, on to the next, hope you guys enjoyed it.